In her first months, Imogen Bolton was desperately ill. Tiny and frail, she was in and out of hospital with a rare condition, which left her struggling to breathe. <laughs> Today, it's an astounding transformation. She has two new lungs, which were transplanted when she was just five months old, possibly the youngest double recipient in Europe. I don't think there are any words. Thank you isn't enough. I spent two days after a transplant crying consistently because, and, and I say it and I still say it, it could have so easily have been me. It could have been me that lost my child. Children can wait years for a donor. In some cases, it never comes. Imogen was incredibly lucky. Her match came up within days. Then it was a complex operation. They have to use um, magnifying glasses. They're looking at very tiny little lungs. Um, if you think about the airways um, that are attached, they're about the size of a small straw. So stitching those in and making sure that they're stitched well without problems of leaking. Imogen's now home, happy and healthy. But her parents are very aware that for Imogen to get her donor lungs, another family lost a child. What they need to know is that part of their child does live on in Imogen. And her happiness and her brightness is what you can see shines through, not just from one child, but from two now. They've played a part in the progress of medicine, and that may help to save more babies' lives. If you don't represent women in public,